I am a junior at Bellevue East. What can I say, Except You're welcome! All right. You know those really funny, awkward moments when you're at, like, the movie theater and <laughs> the usher says, enjoy the movie, and your brain replies, you too, but you realize they aren't going to the movies? <laughs> so you try to stop yourself from saying, you too, but your mouth is just gargled up in what you were saying, so he comes out like, yeah, uh, thanks. <laughs> That's being choked up. I'm choked up a lot, but I'm mostly choked up with you. When we're together, we just joke and laugh about any and everything, and I want to turn to you and say, I like you. But all that comes out is, uh, uh, I like your face. <laughs> what I meant to say was you're gorgeous. I want to look at every centimeter of your face and memorize it so I never forget the beauty it holds. I want to spend every millisecond near you because every second we're apart, it's an eternity to me. Being near you is like a drug to me. I'm a junkie for you, and I want, no, I need a higher dose. You are a goddess, which I feel unworthy being so close to. But I want to stare into your heavenly eyes, looking into your eyes like the philosophers themselves staring into the stars, just longing to see more and understand. Your eyes are the sun, warm and bright, and just like the sun, you can't stare too long, not because it'll burn, because that's weird. <laughs> but I want to be weird together. I want to make a secret language that only you and I can understand. I want to make a two-story pillow fort and you and I live in it. Uh, I don't care if people stare because I want our love to be seen like we're on our own stage to show everyone else that they're doing it wrong. I love you. I want to love you, but you don't like love because of your past. I want to tell you you can change that, you can break the mold, but I now understand that love isn't real. And if it was real, it's dead now probably stabbed in the back by isolation and shot in the head by alcoholism. I was cheap glue trying to piece a slowly breaking heart back together between my parents. They say that relationships are based on an equal partnership, and that's true, but the same principle applies to splitting up because we have one person giving everything they can and another who doesn't have anything left to give. And it's because it's been stolen by a demon known only as alcohol. Alcoholism might as well be the, the same as depression because both have taken away everything from my dad. I think that alcoholism made my dad numb, and to be honest, I feel the same. I'm an acrobat, I'm an acrobat on a tightrope about to fall into the deep pit called depression. I don't want to fall, but my parents are cutting the rope at both ends. I guess they still have one thing they can do together. I want to tell them to just do it or don't. My mom just replies she's happier this way. My dad says nothing because alcohol stole his vocal cords, and he can't talk anymore, and neither can I. Because I want to tell them to stay together, but I can't. I'm all choked up. Thank <laughs> you.